Hi, and welcome to the Prada Museum. We're here again on its social media programming just a few moments before opening to the public with our weekly session in English, which is supported by members of the nonprofit American Friends of the Prada Museum. And we really thank all of the members of the Fundacion Amigos for their support and all of the members of American Friends and encourage everyone to find out more about us on our website. Today is, at, we're in the middle of Easter week in Spain, and throughout the museum we could have chosen a number of fantastic paintings that speak of the Passion of Christ, all done by a very famous artist. Uh, but I really wanted to bring, uh, draw our attention today to a work that's much lesser known and is very kind of special and unique. And it is this work here, the small devotional panel, a small format, a painting that was just recently discovered from a private collection in Spain about a little bit over 10 years ago and was acquired by the Prado Museum and was attributed to Juan de Flanders. So this is John from Flanders, an artist that we know is from the area of Bruges, a trained or Bruges is what we believe in Belgium. And then he traveled to the court of Isabel la Católica, um, Queen Elizabeth, the Catholic Queen of Spain, of, Catholic, of Isabel and Ferdinand, uh, to enter into service into her court. And this was right around the 1490s. Here we have, here we have the wall panel, which is Juan de Flandes, Juan from Flanders, Christ seated on a cold rock. Now, this is a really special image for two reasons. One is that there is no prior image in painting that we know of, of this scene of Christ seated on the cold rock. We, there are a few sculptures at the same time in Northern Europe, but no earlier painting that we know of. And then the image is an original creation, an artistic license, if you will, because there is no direct reference in the biblical narrative of Jesus stopping on the road and sitting down to, and meditating on his situation. So what we see here is Christ alone in a landscape. The landscape we see in the, in, in the background has other crucifixions where he's on the road to be crucified. He is absolutely alone and naked with his clothes taken from him and they're here in the foreground. There is the marks of suffering on his body where he's been whipped. He has the crown of thorns on his head and his hands are tied together and a rope around his neck. And the facial expression is one of great suffering. And this image just really incites us to feel compassion for Christ. And with this additional element of him sitting on a cold stone, I think it also reinforces our physical empathy that we all know how it, uncomfortable it is to sit on a whole cold, hard surface. So the ideas here are abandonment, loneliness, and harshness. And I was, um, I was speaking to the curator in preparation for this talk, and he um, explained that this is very much related to religious literature that uh, is very popular at, at this time. This is 1490s, so this is the end of the Middle Ages, uh, the 13-1400s. The religious literature, for example, one work is The Meditations on the Life of Christ, which was very popular and influential. influential work and it was writing very detailed um, dramatic narrative about the life of Christ and the life of the Virgin Mary and it, 
directly, this reading directly appeals to the reader to make them feel compassion and empathy and devotion. And so it, um, it very much influenced representations of art. Now, this little, this is a, a small format painting, a religious work for private devotional. You know, you, it could be carried with you if you traveled. Um, it's not for a large church, it's for an intimate, it's an intimate setting. And this painting, like I said, was discovered in a private collection in Extremadura in Spain a few years ago and was acquired by the Prado in just 2014. And it was probably, or possibly, made for someone close to the, queen, to the court of the Catholic Queen Isabel. And because we know it was made by her painter, Juan de Flandes. So when it was discovered, all of the technical studies were made, and we can see the underdrawing and the changes that the artist is working directly as he's drawing and making the composition. And there were changes in the head position and the feet position and the hands. And this is also the first time that there's no purity cloth. He's absolutely naked, but the position of the hands cover his nakedness. So anyway, so the underdrawing helps us to really see the artistic process. And the Prado has other works of Juan de Flandes from later years. Uh, and this is really the only one that we have of when he first arrives to Spain, his work right within the court of Isabel la Católica. And it possibly was made for um, maybe one of her noble ladies in waiting. Uh, because the people who are reading and reading this um, religious uh, and, and literature and, and patrons of the arts were around the queen and in her court, both men and women, noble women, were able to read. And it is a very special work here, and it's the image that I wanted to share with you in the middle of Holy Week in Spain. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.